right so uh, in this video I'm gonna show you some fantastic apps that should definitely be taking place on your television if you have an Android TV Android TV box or a smart television if you have streaming devices uh, there would be a lot of apps that are that are in there uh, or you are able to download them or get it from somewhere else but are you making really good use of it you know exactly if you have a smart TV or an Android TV, do you know exactly what apps should be there and what they can be used for? So I'm going to only cover the apps which you might not be aware of or are really good in terms of utility, how you cast your smart devices on your television, what browsers to be used, what can you use for uh, as a news app uh, where we have all the news from the, across the world all at one place how you watch uh, streaming of videos and movies and TV shows for free and uh, a few more. So we'll start with that. The first one that I want to cover is the Puffin TV browser. So you, you that is a common uh, concern that we don't really have good TV browsers for it comes to smart TVs. I mean, even if you have the best Android TVs or Sony Bravia TV or LG or Panasonic or any other brand, they are really not good with uh, the browser interfaces but puffin tv thankfully is a good option so sony android tvs come inbuilt with uh, opera but puffin tv you should be able to download it uh, or from google play store if you have an android tv or i should tell you the other ways how you can get it on your television so you should be able to so good thing here is it has bookmarks so if you have visited any particular website you can just go in there and it's really good in terms of browsing so it's a bit slow in opening the web page and that might be because of my internet but i can use my basic remote control to kind of move uh, the cursor uh, it's taking longer that's because of internet not because of any other reason but this is how it would look like uh, i'll just come back and show you the other features so you can clear your browsing history these are the pages you would have logged in previously so you can open them here you can uh, what can you do here it will show you uh, YouTube uh, these are the apps that people usually use so they are all here just, just click here and they will open up yeah let me quickly open YouTube and let's see if it works fine so it yeah it's taking longer because of internet so i'll 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 leave that just but you can take your my my word it does work fine yeah so this is one of the options uh that's puffin tv i've done a detailed review on that so you can add and it will automatically have most popular websites uh, that people use in here uh, by default so that's puffin tv i've done a detailed review already on this particular app if you want to have that video that's on my youtube channel the next one on my list is a screen which is a really really helpful tool in terms of uh, screen mirroring or casting any sh anything from your mobile whether it's android uh, mobile or, or uh, i would say whether it's android ios or from windows your laptop anything if you want to screen mirror or cast uh, this is how we do it they have their own tutorials so all you need to do is just go there and see if they will have instructions it's very quite quite straightforward i mean there's nothing much involved in here so so i won't go into that uh but yeah yeah the, you can do it easily so that's uh i've done several videos on on, on this so if you if you need uh, uh details there is a video on my uh, uh my, my my youtube channel and these are the steps in front of you connect your a screen device and your android device uh, to the same wi-fi network that means your tv and your mobile should be on the same wi-fi network open your android device setting app uh, and then tap display and within display you will find cast and just click on that and it will be all good yeah just select your television's name on the screen and it will be all be good yeah simple steps i mean i've used it i've been using it for years now so it's quite good uh, so air screen is definitely uh, one of my top apps that i always prefer youtube is a, one of them okay youtube kids specifically for for children but that's quite basic i'm now let's talk about accuweather 
so uh, so you just set your location and it will that's it will show you how the outside weather is what is the forecast hourly forecast what is the daily forecast if you if you if you want to have a satellite view uh, uh, it will you can do that new york you can set your locations and add different locations as well so if you if you're after weather AccuWeather is one of the uh, apps and you can set locations uh, as i said earlier and your preferences here as well yeah okay so AccuWeather is another one for weather and then i'll talk about bbc iplayer so bbc shows bbc live bbc news uh bbc1 bbc2 itv whatever shows are there they are all recorded in here and you can watch at your own convenience it will require you to sign in and once you've signed in you can watch the bbc shows for free either live or uh, the bbc news is live or they are all recorded in there and you can do it i won't log in uh, because i want to save time then similarly itv hub all the high tv channels uh, all the programs from ITV, they're all recorded into in here. Just bear in mind that if you are in United Kingdom, you need a TV license to be watching these shows live. Only if you are watching it live. If it is all recorded, that's fine. And that requires signing, so I won't sign in here. So ITV and BBC is on my list. Let's come out. Let's talk about BBC News app. That's another one. Yup TV is one of the apps if you're watching Indian or Asian uh, TV shows or movies. I've done quite a few review videos of Yup TV. They've got a good list of TV shows or live TV channels. Almost every live TV channel that you that is from India, it would be here. So I'm not going to going to do too much detail in here as well to save some time. But this is a really good watch option, and you can see the list and all the channels are recorded for 10 days. So you'll have it all recorded in here, uh, channel wise. So I won't go into detail, let me come out because I've done several videos on it. VLC player is a media player that should be on your television. You can watch videos, movies, if they are on your pen drive, your USB drive. Uh, it will look for what's uh, attached to the TV. It will have some internal uh, TV, as well, uh, TV uh, memory as well. If something is stored there, it will look for that. At the moment, nothing is connected. You can have your laptop synced with your television on the same Wi-Fi network. And if you place a folder there or a movie there on the same local network, you will be able to watch the movie from your laptop onto the mobile, uh, onto the on the TV through VLC player. So I've done uh, a, a detailed uh, video on VLC player, how to use it, how it works. This is the latest version, VLC for Android 3.1.7. I'll have to pause. Yeah, sorry. So yeah, VLC player is definitely the best media player that should be on your television. So what else? Uh, AccuWeather, Puffin, Old Balaji. Old Balaji and TVF Play and Z5. These three are streaming applications that shows Indian TV shows in Hindi and other languages. So if you're happy with that, these should be on your television but these are these require subscription just like uh, uh, Amazon Prime and Netflix so I'm not doing any 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 I'm not going to detail because these are quite basic apps and everyone knows about Netflix and uh, Amazon Prime you need subscription for that uh, I've done several videos on it Google Play Store would be there on if you have an Android television or have an Android TV box or uh, any any Android box attached to your television. Yeah, it allows you to download thousands and thousands of uh, applications, which are free to download, but paid either paid or free after that. So, so uh, you know, I mean, if you have an Android TV, it's uh, Android mobile. It's similar to that, but only the apps which are compatible for television would be downloaded from here. Yeah, so Kodi, Netflix, anything that you don't have already, you can download it from uh, Google Play Store, but only if you have an Android TV, it will have it. So Disney Life is one of the apps. Facebook Watch, so I'm gonna review Facebook Watch as well. So you can sign in into your Facebook through this app. This is from Facebook only. And once you've done that, you, I mean, uh, the videos uh, within Facebook that you have uh, will be here. So I haven't logged in yet, but once I log in, the videos that are showing on my video, on my Facebook, I can watch it on my television. 
yeah so you don't need to cast it but you can log in into this app directly and anything that is uh, the videos that are available once you log in uh, will be available within Facebook watch and you can watch it uh, directly on your television the other one is photo gallery so you can log in into your Google photos account and it will run a screensaver or wallpaper if you want to set if you want to watch any particular folder within Google photos you can do it through this app yeah so 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 you can either cast it through from it from your mobile to TV or you can just log into your uh, Facebook uh, or sorry Google uh, photos uh, application and then you can s set uh, screensavers slideshows wallpapers you can do it through that MX player ES files Explorer that's another uh, uh, one good one Plex for watching videos and movies albums Kodi again it requires uh, uh, settings I've done quite a lot of videos on these haystack TV is a news app so uh, it gives you news uh, from across the website the throughout websites and others I won't show too much because it will be uh, copyright issues but uh, any of the news will all be at one place so I think I've covered most of it if you have any particular question uh, Disney life for kids Rakuten TV Spotify for music uh, BBC sports if you have any particular question for any particular app let me know I'll be happy to uh, reply back put in your in your, your question in the comment section uh, I've done quite a lot of uh, detailed reviews for most of the apps that I've gone through uh but if still if you have questions let me know subscribe to my channel uh and like my video uh, if it was useful thank you thanks for watching thank you bye bye